let's now move to a convolutional uh, neural network and uh, uh, we are going to use as we said uh, uh, the flux uh, library and uh, we load some data from the MNIST uh, dataset that is the one dataset that we saw in the uh, kickoff uh, uh, meeting in the in the presentation. Uh, so these are uh, date, these are images of uh, uh, handwritten uh, digits. And let's go now load uh, load them by getting directly is train data here. Then the dimension in which uh, this ML dataset present them is not uh, uh, is not the dimension that we 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 want. We need to change the the axis of the image and we use permut dimension. So the second dimension become the first one. The first dimension between be come the second and the third one remain the same and uh, as uh, um, flux works with float 32 data these are uh, the images encoded with some strange uh, uh, type that relate to the to the to the color because these are grayscale uh, color we convert them in a standard float 64 or float 32 in this case because fl flux works with float 32 uh, data so here we have an array of 28 by 28 by 6000 image 60000 image each one of 28 uh, pixel at this point we still need to reshape them uh, in uh, uh, by giving another further dimension because these are images and uh, convolutional networks work with uh, images that may have a several depth and uh, but in this case they are grayscale so there is only one uh, one level of the image now the our y our is a uh, our y is a uh, um, is is numerical but we want to uh, as we did for for uh, bet ml ml we need to convert in a set of columns so here we are using one hot batch uh, function of, of flux it does exactly the same here but the difference is instead of being integer is boolean so if it feed put the number where uh, uh, on the column so he, sorry oops here this one was a two and uh, this one was uh, a four and so on no wait one second the data here with flux works uh but uh, this one so attention this is the the dimension so it's the opposite of beta ml here is the dimensions in vertical and here in horizontal are the various records so here this is a uh, one for but this is the second record this is the third record this is the fourth record and and so on flux uh, use some uh, uh, data loader that take care of uh, batching the, the 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 data so uh, we pass this this x and y together with the size of the batch to train the data and we do the same for the sets we get this the the test data we permit the dimension we convert we sh reshape and we make one hot batch now is the time to define the convolutional network so our image is uh, 28 by 28 in uh, input and the first things uh, we define uh, as you can see several convolutional layer this one for each one we specify the size of the filter the input level when we saw uh, in the theoretical lesson the um, the the fact that we can have multiple filters we saw that in reality these are volumes so here we are only one level so we start with one level because it's a grayscale and we end up 
with eight, uh, eight with a volume that is with a depth of eight because we are using eight filters. Now, how much uh, will be the output uh, of this, uh, this filter? We are going to use a padding of two and a striding of two. It means that our initial uh, uh, image is 28, 28 plus two on each side is 32, minus five, uh, that is the, the size of the filter is uh, 27. We add one is 28, and then we are using a stride of two, so we divide 28 by two, and we end up to uh, an output, an image of a 14 by 14, and we use ReLU functions. And we continue here, so from 14 to seven, seven to four, and a two by two pixel. And finally, we, we make a, a global mean. We flatten the image in, a, a, in an array, and we use a final dense layer, 32, because the last layer is made of 32 uh, filters, and uh, 10, because our uh, output is uh, as a dimension 10, because we are using 10, uh, the, the, the numbers can be from 0 to, to 9, and because we are making a classification, a multinomial classification, as a final uh, function, uh, we, use, uh, um, we use softmax. At this point, uh, we can define our own accuracy. I call it my accuracy and my loss to avoid the renaming the, the accuracy lost function, a loss function in beta ML. And here one called is just doing the opposite of one hot encoding. So here is transforming the, um, the, the matrix in, in, in a vector. We give the uh, uh, options, we call uh, it Adam also in, uh, in uh, Flux. We get the uh, parameter of the model, we define which are the parameters of the models uh, with uh, the params function, and uh, we set a number of epochs equal to four, and uh, we make the training, the training with respect to the specific loss function that we defined, the parameter that are object of the training and uh, the ca the train data that is already that the 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 combination of uh, of uh, uh, the x and the y and the will be batched uh, according to to the parameter that we specified and the options here that we defined here related to the optimization algorithm so we run this one, here specify this, uh, this uh, we don't need to make a for loops. We, if you didn't use this macro here, this just expanded this in uh, four loops for each number of epochs and uh, print this, this sentence here. So it's gonna take some, uh, some times uh, to make the four epochs because the chain is pretty, pretty big. So when, again, we have some fixed cost for compilation, then the individual epoch run relatively uh, fast. Uh, when uh, uh, these are uh, ended, uh, we'll be able, uh, and uh, it should be in, in a few seconds, should be able to uh, make the prediction by calling the model that is our chain with the feature that we want. So for a mm, prediction, for predicting the train, we'll use the feature of the train. And uh, to predict the test uh, set, we'll use the feature of the test. So here we see that we have 10 by 6,000, where we have the various probabilities of the, v of the 10 digits for the 60,000 records of the training. At this point, we can compute the accuracy using the accuracy function that we define it. And we have very good uh, results. So in uh, the kickoff meeting, we saw we had very low results, but that was because we wrote ourselves 
uh, the image and this was not um, digitalized and was not processed in the in a way that was uh, uh, was seem exactly the same as uh, the data in uh, the data set but when we work exclusively with the data of the MNIST uh, um, data set we can see here that even the testing uh, accuracy is very very good out of 10 labels uh, we get the correct one 96 percent of the of the time if you want to see how these images are we can use the plot with uh, gray so here we are plotting all the rows uh, all the column of the first dimension there is only one of the first record and uh, here we have it is seems a five to me uh, if let's gonna take the second record is a this is a zero and again we can uh, do the same things as before here we are mixing a little bit of things because we are using uh, uh, one cold of a uh, flux with the confusion matrix of uh, of uh, beta ml but it works it should work so here we can see that uh, the uh, wait one second i think that yes we are doing just minus one because the label are um, are uh, one to ten so we have to go back to uh, zero to nine so we are removing uh, one to to both the 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 prediction and the true labels and uh, let me print it again with a more uh, more space so here we have that uh, this digit here uh, which are the most difficult to to predict uh, like the number three, the true three, that often is confused by by five, and uh, the number six, that is as well confused by five, since that five is a catch in a lot of a lot of others, and uh, that as well the eight sometimes is confused with the with the five. So it seems that often our model uh, confuse other number for uh, for the five while the five uh, now is al always almost always ca classified as uh, as five so here is the actual numbers and here if you see is in percentage uh, in percentage and here you have the the, the statistics so here is it uh, and uh, these are very basic but you can see that um, running neural networks is uh, very simple the only problem is that all the data has to be numerical so you need to take care of converting uh, uh, the data uh, the categorical data using one hot uh, encoding for example